Yo guys, what's going on? Deband here, back with a brand new GTA glitch video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing the fully invisible body. That's right, you heard that correct, the fully invisible body. There's no body parts whatsoever. Uh, not even the hands, there's just gloves there uh, and the feet and the head obviously. So if you are new to my channel guys, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to get notified when I do upload because I upload some amazing glitches. I've got some amazing glitches to come. So this is something new on my channel, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So for this glitch, you are going to lose all of your outfits apart from the one that you're wearing. So when you're on your main character, make sure you're wearing the outfit you want to keep. Now just click pause, go to online and go to swap characters. So now we're going to be going over to our female character and create the components for this outfit. So yeah, like I did say guys, if you are new or if you, I don't know, yeah, if you are new and you aren't subscribed already, check if you are subscribed. If you're not, just hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Now, like I said, just go over to your second character. So guys, once you spawn in as your second character, now we are just going to head over to the clothing store. So literally just follow along and put the outfits that I put on. Obviously I'm going to explain what to put on as we go through with this glitch. So there is only two outfit components. Um, you only need to make two outfits for this. So it doesn't take long, it takes f five minutes max. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at the clothing store. So guys, once you make it to the clothing store, let's go straight over to the pants section. And like I said, I'm gonna show you how to get all of this guys and show you what ones you need. So go down to cargo pants and we're gonna to go to the navy cargoes. It should be number 30. And now from here, once you've got them cargo trousers on, you're gonna to wanna to go to the top section and come to fitted suit jackets and go down to number 10. That should be the white boating blazer. So now stay on the top section now we're going to go down to tactical jackets and we're going to go to the bottom khaki tactical blouse and that is number 79. So now from here guys, we are going to go over to the shoes section. So in the shoes section, click right, go to high heel boots and go to number 24 and that should be the deluxe midnight combats. So these are for the white trainers. Now guys, from here, come over to the accessory section. Make sure you have no other accessories on. I mean like earrings, Make, just take the earrings off. Now go down to the glove section and click the light woodland tactical. Now go up to ties and now we are going to find the tan loose tie, which is number 32 out of 40. So now from here, we're gonna save this outfit in slot number one. So like I said guys, there's only two outfits to this glitch. So save this in slot number one and then we'll get straight onto slot number two outfit. So the outfit is very similar, not really much to change whatsoever. It's literally two components, I think anyway. Um, so from here guys, go to the top section, go to work jackets and now go down to peach camo closed field. That should be number nine out of 17. Now go down to tucked t-shirts and go to number 75 and that should be the blue digital tucked t-shirt. So here we go, blue dig digital t-shirt. So now from here guys, our gloves have removed. So we're gonna go back over to the accessory section and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. Also the components after this, um, if you do want the um, checkered glasses, you can follow this step, but if you don't want them, just miss out this step and save this outfit one after the last one, so in slot number two. 
So if you do want them, go down to casual glasses and find the copper marbles glasses. That should be number 22. Now from here, just go to the outfit section and save this in slot number two. Now from here guys, once you've created them two outfits that I've just shown, just open your interaction menu and go down to take these way out and take these way out. This is just a way to force the game to save our outfits, uh, the component outfits we just made. So once you spawn in, just click pause, go to online and go to swap. No, go to creator, sorry. We need to go to creator. We're going to set up the creator um, part. If you've never done a transfer glitch before, uh, I'll guide you through every step. But yeah, just click pause, go to online and go to creator. So guys, once you've launched up Create, just click Create Race, go to Land Race. So now we're just going to create a race. So go to Race Details and make the title, description and photo, whatever you please. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific. Now just follow my steps, go to Maximum Players and set it to free. Go to Route Type and set out to Point to Point. Now go back, go to Placement, click Pause and Warp or Teleport to the airport. Just teleport to where I am, makes it a lot easier to make a longer race. Now just select the trigger location select the lobby camera and then checkpoints we're going to be making a race no less than 0.71 miles so it has to be 0.71 miles and over once you have finished selecting that race just click back and go to test so now we're just going to test the full race Now, once you get this notification, just click X on it. Now quickly click pause, go to online, and now we're gonna go to choose character. So now we're gonna go back and delete the second outfit, or second character, sorry, that we was just on. Uh, this is very simple, just listen out and just listen carefully to what we need to do. Because if you click on any one of these outfits, it will mess the glitch up completely. You lose the components, you'll have to do it again. So once you've loaded in, go over to your second character and click square or X, I think it is on Xbox. Just type in delete and then we're going to delete the outfit. Now on Xbox or PlayStation, so for PlayStation click circle here, for Xbox click B. We're going to be going back to GTA like single player. So return to GTA 5, don't click on any of the outfits and I'll see you guys when we're back in story mode. So from here guys, once you're back in story mode, click pause, go over to online and I suggest you guys go into a public session so it's easy for you to find someone to join your Crooked Cop. That's what that's the mistake I made in this video. I accidentally went to invite only session but yeah guys, do go to a public session because it will make it a lot easier for you for the next step. So guys, once you have spawned in, just open up your interaction interaction menu, go down to style and just switch between the outfits. Don't click on them, just to make sure you do have the outfits. So now go to your wardrobe and now we're gonna save the outfit that we wanted to keep. So for instance, I wanted this white outfit. So I'm gonna save this in slot number three, it doesn't matter what slot. Now go into the outfit section and we're gonna be going to biker suit. So you're gonna wanna put on the black biker suit like this. If you haven't got it, go to the shop and buy one. Uh, now click Pause, go to online, and I actually made a mistake because I was in the wardrobe. Go pause, online, play job, rockstar created, missions, no, versus, sorry, and then go to crooked cop. So we're going to start up crooked cop. Um, I actually got kicked from this last one, uh, so I'm going to skip it to where I actually got into one. 
Also guys, I forgot to mention, make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. If you're hosting it, make sure the outfit selection is set to player owned. Or if you join someone, then make sure the outfit selection is set to player owned. Now guys, once you get to this part, go down to owned outfit and go twice to the right and just ready up and then we'll wait until we get into the mission. So guys, once you get into the mission, just open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, go to gear and put on an earpiece. Once you've done that, just quit the job using your phone. Now this next step is quite crucial. As soon as we spawn in guys, we're gonna hit that pause button, go to online, jobs, play GTA or play jobs or whatever, go to missions and we're gonna wanna start up Titan of a job. Just start it up as quick as possible and get into the mission as quick as possible. I unfortunately didn't have that luck. I got kicked from my first one. Uh, so I had to go into it again. If you do get kicked or if you leave, when you get back into the online session, just make sure you quickly start tighten up a job back up again. So like I said, guys, as soon as you join in, Go to pause online, go to play jobs, Rockstar Create, go to missions and start up Titan of a job as soon as possible. Just do it as quickly as you can. Uh, otherwise, I think the glitch can mess up. If you lose that invisible outfit, I think you can mess the glitch up in a way. But I'm not sure. You can still try it again, but just make sure you're doing it quick. So now we're just going to wait until we get into a mission and I'll be back with you guys once I actually do. So guys, when you load into the Titan of a Job mission, now we're just going to make our way over to the gun store. Um, you won't, I don't think you can lose the outfit while you're in a mission, but yeah, we're going to want to go over to the nearest gun store and then save this outfit. So I'll be back with you guys when I'm at the gun store. So guys, once you've made it to the gun store, just go in, go over to the clothing section and then overwrite the outfit or save this as a new outfit. It's completely up to you. Just save this outfit while you're in this mission. Now from here, just quit this job using your phone. Now guys, once you have spawned in, you will probably spawn in with these bottoms, 
that doesn't matter just sell it yourself in passive mode so this next step if you have a yacht because you are going to need a yacht for this next step if you have got a yacht that's fine if you haven't got a yacht that's fine all you need is a friend that has a yacht or go to a yacht that's on uh, you know that's just on the public match um, all you need is the um, jacuzzi or hot tub whatever you want to call it you could use the penthouse one but you can't use sticky bombs inside there obviously uh, so yeah you do need the yacht jacuzzi or hot tub so yeah just find a public session that has a yacht in it or just get your friend's yacht and I'll be back with you guys when we have made it over to the yacht So guys from here what we are going to do is once we are on the yacht sign up as a secure serve go to secure serve ceo in the interaction menu go to management go to style and go once to the right and come out of the interaction menu now for this next step we are going to need sticky bombs if you have got some that's great if you haven't go on your interaction menu go through the inventory section and buy some so now guys go into the hot tub and throw the sticky bombs exactly where i'm throwing them you only need like one uh, just throw two to be safe so now we are going to quit the ceo while we are in this hot tub now we're going to sign up and as soon as you accept to sign up spam left on the d-pad to blow the sticky bombs up so now as we can see in a second once we spawn in we should have the shorts on now for the people that haven't got a yacht you can just go to your apartment um, and save this outfit or well, not save this outfit but you'll know in the next like next step when i tell you guys um but yeah if you're on your friend's yacht just go in there go to the wardrobe or you know once you've done this you can just go over to your apartment there's no timing for this step uh, you just need to get to a wardrobe so i'll be back with you guys when i'm at the wardrobe So guys, once you get to your wardrobe, all you need to do is just go into the wardrobe, go to your saved outfits and equip the invisible outfit we made not long ago. So there you go guys, that is the glitch completely done. This outfit don't disappear, this is a permanent outfit. So if you did enjoy this video guys, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notifications turned on to never miss another video like mine. I've been your boy Panda, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>